Moving forward as a society depends on children developing to their full potential, and the science of early childhood development can help us figure out the best ways to make this happen. There's a lot of science to draw from. Molecular biology, neuroscience, genomics, and behavioral health. So figuring out how we can actually use all this knowledge can be a big challenge. But out of all of that science, we know that early childhood environments and experiences, even those before birth, shape our learning capacities, behaviors, and physical and mental health across the lifespan. That is huge. Even better, we can identify three key principles that anyone can use to better support developing children and the adults who care for them. And that's where you come in. As a community leader, policymaker, or practitioner, you bring your own knowledge, experience, and expertise to this challenge. And you can use these scientific principles to get better outcomes for the families you care about. Think of the principles as a guiding star. They can help you design better programs, practices, and services, and point you towards what's most important for helping children and families thrive. Principle one, support responsive relationships. Responsive serve and return interaction between adults and young children builds healthy brain architecture. Relationships help adults deal with life's challenges and help children build resilience. In fact, having stable responsive relationships with committed adults is the single most common factor in children who develop the capacity to overcome serious hardship in life. Principle two, strengthen core skills. The essential skills we all need to successfully manage life, work, and relationships are learned through coaching and practice, starting in the earliest years and continuing into adulthood. Known as executive function and self-regulation skills, these crucial capabilities support our ability to focus, adapt to change, resist impulsive behaviors, plan ahead, and achieve goals. Principle three, reduce sources of stress. Millions of children and families experience severe stress every day caused by things like poverty, community violence, racism, substance abuse, mental illness, and more. Excessive unrelenting stress can be both disruptive and destructive for kids and adults. So doing everything we can about the sources of that stress is key. All of these principles are connected. Responsive relationships are one of the best ways to reduce stress and practice skills in a playful way. When we have less stress, we're better able to focus on people and skill building instead of putting out fires. And core skills can help us find solutions to challenging situations, giving us the time and energy for relationships. By applying these science by design principles, our policies, programs, and services can create the conditions and experiences that support child development at all levels, for the individual, in the community, and across society. Follow that guiding star, and you'll be on the path to better outcomes for every child and family.